Man, I am so excited to bring this next guy to the stage. Please make, make him feel welcome. How about a big round of applause for Brendan Lindsay? Let him know! Hi, everybody. This suit is not inside out. So, I've been feeling kind of depressed lately, so I hope you're ready to laugh. Um, I split up with my wife back in early September, so I've been dating since about mid September, early mid September, <laughs> and uh, uh, my ex is better at dating than I am. She's already got a boyfriend since April. And <laughs> it's not what you think, though. Um, we had an open marriage, apparently. So um, yeah. So anyway, I've been doing the online dating thing, and that that's weird. It's a lot of first dates, and First dates make me a little bit nervous. I tend to drink a little bit faster, which is a bit of a red flag for the ladies. And I start to slur my words, and I sound a little bit like a sexual predator. I'm like, you know, baby, you should go to the bathroom, and I'll buy you a drink. So, Cosby impressions are a red flag also. Um, and uh, so, with dating, you always wanna you always wanna plan original dates. So usually it's like dinner and then um, some something else. So on on this one date, um, there was like a concert a couple blocks away, and I was like, let's go see some live music. And it was a band I'd never heard of, but there were tons of people um, going there, so they must have been popular. Um, but we we went in, and it was a it was a rock concert. It was a it was a different kind of concert. It was like, uh, I don't know. It wasn't my kind of rock music, but I couldn't quite place what it was. But in the middle of the second song, a, a lady comes out on stage and she's got like one arm that's shorter than the other. Um, well, it, go, it goes to here and then there's no arm below that part. So, uh, which is fine. I mean, no big deal. But, uh, but the girl I'm with, she turns to me and she's like, is this a Christian? concert like and I'm like is she asking because of the lady with the impractical appendage um, because that's what that's what I'm thinking and I'm like that's not like a Christian rock thing because Def Leppard does that at every show <laughs> and and uh, and it's not like they're like hey look at this you know not that that's a Christian thing either she was like she was she was part of the band like like she had a she was holding a micro she was holding a microphone in, uh, in her hand, and she was singing. And, uh, and so, um, well, one thing, and this is gonna sound a little bit sexist, but when I see a man missing an arm, I think war veteran, and when I see a woman missing an arm, I just think, I think it's a shark attack, probably. Uh, you know, or, or she was like walking like this, protecting herself from the wind of a airplane propeller. Um, <laughs> Just, just as po possible, uh, but but then I start listening to like the the music and the rock I'm used to is very angry and depressing and bitter and hopeless and awesome um, and and this was all like joyful and cheerful and jubilant, jaunty, merry, gay. You know what I mean. Um, <laughs> and also they were using a lot of like masculine pronouns like he and him in their lyrics and everybody was singing along oh and it sounded like those had capital H's and uh, and and they were saying rise up but not like not like rage against the machine kind of rise up against authority and rise up against the status quo it was more like rise up and praise God but oh, they also had this choreography which like like I guess is a thing at Christian concerts where they do like the the arms back and forth. Um, even the background singer, she she was just like you know waving her um, other arm, and uh, um, and but they never said Jesus, which I feel like that's that's like a staple in Christian rock. Like you got to say Jesus because Jesus is Christian. But so I feel like. Christian music without Jesus, that's like, that's like country music without Chevys, I guess. 
All right. That's it, everybody. <laughs> Thank you.